everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. Before we go ahead and get started, um, what you may need will be a block or anything like it. I know Melissa posted a post about ways to like kind of improvise your own block. So if you want to grab a stack of books, that would be cool. Also, like if you have a blanket or a strap, a t-shirt, anything of that nature, we're gonna get some shoulder opening going on. So you can grab that as well and make sure to grab some water. Hope everyone's doing good today. We'll get started here in just a second. And while we wait, we'll go ahead and pick our card for today. For those that are not familiar, uh, these are seeds of intention cards. So it is exactly that, a seed of intention. It may or may not be an intention that you can use throughout practice. You know, if it's something that means something to you, then you can take it throughout practice. You can take it throughout the rest of the day. And if it may not mean anything today and it, you know, it may kind of grow on you a little later. So feel free to use this as your intention for practice today. If you have one of your own, definitely go for that, but I'll go ahead and pick one. Let's see, hmm, go with this one. For today, I sing out loud. That is our intention for today. Get started. We'll actually go ahead and get started sitting on our heels. And for now, we'll sit with the toes flat. We'll go ahead and close our eyes here. You can relax the shoulders. And just settle into the natural breath here. We're not making any changes, just observing. Observing the thoughts, scanning the body, scanning the breath, but not making changes. We're just observing here. Just a few more breaths here. And on the next breath, we'll go ahead and deepen that and I'll count off. We'll inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Doing that again, inhaling for one, two, three, four. Exhale for four, three, two, one. One more time, inhaling for one, two, three, four. Exhaling for four, three, two, one. And we'll do two more like that on your own. Starting to settle in here, settling into any intention, whether it's the intention on our card today, or one of your own. We're sealing that intention here. And on that last breath, you can lightly open your eyes. We'll come to shift forward just a bit. We're gonna come to sit on our toes. We're gonna wake up those toes. So you can spread them out so they're not so bunched up. Maybe spread it out so the pinky toe meets the ground. And we'll hang out here. We'll take the arms up. As we inhale, and exhale them back down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, back down. One more, inhale up. And as we exhale, we'll take the right hand over towards the right. Here's where you can find your block or any kind of prop that raises the floor. We'll take the right hand over to the right, left hand reaches over. 
We're still on those toes. And if you need a break, definitely come out briefly. Then you can go ahead and come back in. We'll exhale that back down, shifting the block. We'll inhale to take it up. Exhale, left arm will come down. Right arm reaches over. Should definitely feel some fire in those toes. If not yet, then hey, we'll be here for a second longer. Inhale, back up. And then exhale, hands get heart center. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, over towards the right. Really still rounding through that left hip. Inhale, as we bring it back up. Exhale to the left. Inhale, bring it back up. We'll take the hands in front of us. You can pat those toes out, pat it out. And we'll come back to sit on the feet. And from here, we'll just take a few shoulder rolls. So we'll take them up into the ears. And then as we exhale, take them back and down. Inhale, taking the shoulders up. Exhale, back and down. We're just rolling them towards the back. Just finding your own movements here. We've got about three more this way. And after that third one, we'll come back to neutral. We'll inhale, take them up into the shoulders. Then exhale to roll them forward. Inhale up. Exhale forward. And then from here, just getting some full rotations forward. About three more here. And then after that last one, we'll settle the shoulders. And then when you're ready, we'll just drop the right ear to the right shoulder. If you need a little more weight, you can take that top hand to the left temple. You can even take that left hand out to the left. If that's too much, then you can place your hand to the top of the thigh there. One more breath here. And then when you're ready, we'll go ahead and take that up. Taking the left ear to the left shoulder. If you need a little more, you can take the fingertips to the right temple. Just another couple of breaths here. It's releasing any tension in the neck. And then when you're ready, we'll release. You can roll it out. We'll roll towards the right. Just a few rolls. And then after that, coming up through center, taking it towards the left. Just a couple of more here. Nice, and then when you're ready, we'll roll forward to come to all fours. Checking in with our alignment here, our hips are gonna be stacked over the knees, shoulders stacked over the wrists. We'll go in for a few cat cows here, inhaling as we drop the belly, lift the heart, the head will come up. Exhale as we round through the tailbone, rounding the spine, the head will drop. Inhale to lift the heart. Exhale, rounding the spine. We'll go through about five of these. Moving at your own pace. So whatever it is that you need here. If you want to roll right through these, roll on through. If you need to hold anything, if anything is feeling a little sticky, maybe pause in a cat or pause in cow, whatever feels good. And after that last one, we'll come back to neutral. You can wag it out here, maybe swing the hips, finding any small movements that you may need. You can maybe look over the shoulder. And then when you're ready, we'll drop the, the seat back into a child's pose. You can let the toes touch or the knees can come together, your choice. And if you'd like to find any small movements here in your child's pose, you're more than welcome. Maybe a swaying motion feels good, maybe it doesn't. 
And on the next breath, we'll find stillness. So really settling into that child's pose. You can rest the forehead on the mat if your knees are separated. Two more breaths here. And then when you're ready, we'll press the hands into the mat, so much so that the elbows begin to lift from the mat. Really gripping into the mat there, we'll lift the seat. Tucking the back toes, sending the knees back into down dog. You can walk it out here for our first one by bending one knee at a time. Maybe even pausing while you're there. For some of us, this may be our first movement for the day. So definitely just feeling it out. I know it's been a bit chilly here lately, so you know, things start to, to get a little stiff during when it gets a little cold. So we'll do Another breath here, finding stillness in our down dog. And then when you're ready, we'll take some steps, some little baby steps to meet our feet between the hands. And here we'll go ahead and fold, exhaling here. You can put a bend in the knees for our first forward fold. So we can really release the low back here. Being super heavy, you can Really drape the upper body, letting gravity do the work. You can drape the arms, or you can grab at the elbows. A little rag doll here. Another breath or two like this. It's really being super heavy in the upper body. And then when you're ready, if they're not already, we'll release the arms to the mat. Grounding into the feet, bending the knees, slowly rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae until we're standing, rolling the shoulders back, mountain pose. Palms facing forward. We'll be here for a few breaths as we root through the feet, rooting through all four corners. You may even notice a nice swaying motion of your feet trying to find that balance. One more breath. And then when you're ready, we'll do some half salutation. So we'll go ahead and take the arms up and overhead as we inhale. And as we exhale, we'll fold. You can bend the knees here still. Inhale to come up halfway. So for our flat back, you'll take your hands. You want to make sure that you're having a flat back. So you may be able to reach the floor, but if you're rounding, that's not necessarily the greatest for the spine there. So you maybe want to take it to the shins or maybe even to the knees. You just want to make sure that you're not rounding here. You want to keep a flat back. And then as we exhale, we'll fold Inhale to bend the knees, coming up all the way to rise. Exhale, hands through heart center. We'll do a few more of those. Inhale, taking it all the way up, reaching through the fingertips. Exhale to fold. You can still put a good bend in the knees here. Inhale to come up halfway. You can even use your block. Exhale to fold. Inhale, bending the knees, root to rise. Two more. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale to fold. Inhale to come up halfway. Exhale to fold. Rooting through the feet. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, hands through heart center. One more. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale to fold. Inhaling halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Rooting through the feet. 
Exhale, hands through heart center, mountain pose. Nice, you guys. We'll go ahead and move through a few sun salutation A's. So we'll inhale to take the arms all the way up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. We'll step the right foot back and the left foot back to meet. Coming into our plank here. So in our plank, we really want to make sure that we're firming into our shoulders. We're not dumping, really pressing through the hands to lift out. Tucking through the back toes. We can go ahead and drop the knees here. And just to make sure we have proper engagement, we want to think about lifting our belly button up and then tucking it back, like towards the spine. So when I say up and in, it's like a shift of the pelvis there, but also thinking about drawing the belly button up and back. Another breath here in our half plank. And then we'll exhale down. As we exhale, we'll keep the elbows in close to the ribs as we lower through our chaturanga arms. We'll exhale to knees, chest, chin. So just the chest and chin will drop to the mat. Inhale, coming through to Cobra, peeling the shoulders back. You can maybe even lift the hands here. And we'll exhale, take it back through tabletop into down dog. Then walk it out again here. And then when you're ready, we can come up to the balls of our feet, or maybe even our tippy toes, and just baby step our way to meet the feet between the hands or we'll just get them there however you need. We'll exhale to fold. Inhale, root to rise. Inhale, standing. Then exhale, hands through heart center. We'll do another one like that. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale to fold. Inhaling halfway. Exhale to fold. Stepping the left foot back this time, right foot back to meet it. If you would like to take your modified plank, you may. Otherwise, we're in full plank. Still thinking about tucking that tailbone and lifting that belly button up and in, coming out of the shoulders here. When you're ready, lowering to those chaturanga arms, bending at the elbows, keeping them tight. Coming to a 90 degree, you can flip the tops of the feet for up dog or lower down for cobra. Exhale to flip the feet, coming back, down dog. Should start to warm up here if the toe exercise didn't already warm you up. All right, when you're ready, coming to the balls of the feet, you can baby step your way up, or you can lunge your way up, however you want to get there. Exhale here to fold. Inhale, root to rise. And exhale, hands through heart center. Nice, you guys. One more. Inhale to come up all the way. Exhale to fold. Inhaling halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, this time you can walk or jump it back, however you like to get there. Lowering down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Now from here, we're gonna play with the little jumping. So we'll come up to the balls of the feet here. And then we'll bend the knees so that they hover at least about six inches from the mat. The lower, the little bit more challenging it may be, but it won't hurt for a little challenge. Really pressing into the hands. You'll take your gaze between your hands and a little bit of like above, sending the hips back and making your way to meet the feet between the hands. Like a little froggy hop almost. We'll exhale to fold. Inhale to bring it all the way up. 
And then exhale, hands through heart center. Nice, you guys. Inhale, taking it up. Exhale to fold. We'll walk or jump it back into a plank. And from here, we're just gonna go straight into our down dog. Gonna walk it out again here. And then when you're ready, we'll take the right foot up and back. And then exhale as we bring it through. Go ahead and drop that back knee down. And then when you're ready, we'll come up to rise in our low lunge. Exhaling here to fold. And then from here, we'll go ahead and straighten out that front knee. Here's a great place to use your blocks. So we'll go ahead and straighten and you can kind of reposition that back knee. And we're gonna go ahead and straighten out the front and we'll bend right back into it. So a little bit of a flow here. Inhale to come into the knee. Exhale to straighten. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, one more. Inhale. Exhale to straighten. And we'll keep it straight and you can go ahead and flex that top foot there. And from here, we'll flow kind of, we'll inhale to lengthen, then exhale as we fold over. Inhale to come back up to rise. Exhale, folding it over, two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale, and we'll stay folded over for four, three, two, one. We'll inhale it back up. This time we'll take the foot and turn it out to the right so that the pinky side is closer to the mat. Just turning that foot out. We'll be here for two more breaths. And when you're ready, we'll take it back through center. And we'll exhale to take the big toe side of the foot in towards, that one's gonna be closer to the mat. So we're just turning the leg in. So internal rotation. Two more breaths. And then when you're ready, we'll take it back, lunging back into that leg. We'll come and open up for a twist. So the left hand will come underneath the left shoulder. Inhale to take it up. Two more breaths here in our twist. And then when you're ready, we'll take the right arm, taking it back behind us and circling it around. Getting some nice opening here in our shoulder and in the chest. Making some nice little circles here. Nice, you guys. And we'll go ahead and frame the foot. You can go ahead and lift that back knee. Here, we wanna make sure that our hips are squared. And by doing so, we'll think about sending the right hip back as the left hip shifts forward. So it's a nice little a little adjustment of the hips there. One more breath. And then when you're ready, placing the hands into the mat, we'll step it back into a plank, lowering down, going through our vinyasa, whether that's knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, up dog, or cobra for you. Nice, you guys, coming in to the other side. The left foot comes up and back, We'll exhale to bring that knee through, dropping the back knee down, lifting here, holding for a breath. And then when you're ready, framing the foot, you can find your blocks here. 
We're going to inhale, settle in. Exhale as we straighten that front leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We'll hold it here. Go ahead and flex that foot. Then we'll inhale to lengthen. Exhale as we fold it over. Inhale, bringing it back up. Exhale to fold it over. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, we'll fold it over for four, three, two, one. We'll inhale to bring it back up. We'll externally rotate. So we'll take the pinky side edge of the foot towards the left side of the mat. Hanging out here for just a couple of breaths. And then we'll take it through center. Exhale, taking the big toe side of the foot in towards, we're taking it over towards the right. Get a little internal rotation going on. One more breath. Taking it through center, lunging back into that knee. We'll take the right hand underneath the right shoulder. Inhale, open up for a twist. Holding here for three breaths. And then when you're ready, we'll take that arm, taking it back and down and around. And you can keep your gaze on your thumb. Can also give you some rotation in the neck there, if it's okay with your neck. If not, then you can keep your gaze down or keep it in a place to where it's not too cranky for your neck. One more this way. So we'll go ahead and frame the foot, tucking the back toes, coming into our runner's lunge. And once again, checking in with the hips, shifting that left hip back and right hip forward. Nice, you guys. Go ahead and step that back foot up and lower down. Chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Up dog or cobra. Exhale to down dog. Again, walking out again here. From here, we'll take the hands, walk them back towards the feet. You can rag doll again here. And then when you're ready, We'll put a bend in the knees. Inhale, come up to standing. Exhale, hands through heart center. Nice, you guys. Going into that with a little added into it. We'll inhale to take the arms up and over. Exhale to fold. We'll walk it out here into our down dog. Bending at the knees. Then when you're ready, we'll take the right foot up and back. Exhale to bring it through however you need to get it there. We'll go ahead and drop that back knee down. You can inhale up to rise in your low lunge. If it feels good, you can even lift the arms here. Then when you're ready, we'll frame the foot. Inhaling here into our lunge. Exhale to straighten that front leg. Once again, finding our blocks if we need. Inhale, forward. Exhale to straighten. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Keeping that front leg straightened. And then from here, we'll inhale to lengthen. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, we're folding for four, three, two, one. Nice, coming back up. This time, we'll go ahead and windshield wiper the foot. So taking it out, taking it in, out, in. Just finding any small movements here. Then when you're ready, we'll come back to straight. Lunging back into that knee, we'll take the right hand, I'm sorry, the left hand underneath the left shoulder. Inhale, open up into our twist. And then going in for those rotations, taking the thumb back, bringing it around. Three more. And on that last one, we'll frame the foot. Tucking the back toes here. Once we find our, our leveling of the hips, our squaring of the hips, once we have that, once we feel pretty grounded, go ahead and inhale to come up to a high crescent. Holding it here for two more breaths. Maybe checking in again with the hips. And then we'll exhale to frame the foot. Stepping the back toes back. You can go through your vinyasa or come back to meet and down dog. And then when, whenever you're ready, the left foot will come up and back. Exhale to bring it through. Go ahead and drop that back knee down. Inhale, coming up. You can lift the arms here if you'd like. Nice, and we'll exhale to frame the foot. Go ahead and straighten out that front knee. You can find your blocks. Going into a flow here. We'll inhale into our lunge. Exhale to straighten. Inhale. Exhale, two more. Inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale. Exhale, keeping that knee straightened for three, two, one. And then from here, go ahead and windshield wiper. That foot in and out. Nice, you guys, coming back. And folding over, I don't think we did that, sorry. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen, we'll hold it on this last one. Exhale, folding. And we'll come back up. If we just did that, I'm sorry, but hey, it doesn't hurt to do it again. So we'll take the right hand to drop it underneath the right shoulder. Inhale, open up. Two more breaths. And then when you're ready, we'll take that thumb, taking it back, circling around. Three more. Now through that last one, we'll frame the foot, taking the back toes, lifting that back knee, scoring off the hips, finding your grounding, inhale up to rise, checking in again with the alignment of the hips, making sure that they're squared, hanging out here for two more breaths, and we'll exhale to frame the foot. Set that back foot back. We can come into plank, going through our vinyasa, or we'll meet in down dog. Nice, walking it out here. 
We'll take the hands back to the feet. Ragdolling here. And then from here, we'll walk it back out, dropping into a child's pose. Hope everyone's doing all right. Maybe grab some water if you need. My water bottle is in the process of being washed, so I'm like drinking out of this jug, but hey, what is? All right. So from our child's pose, we'll come back up. Coming through down dog. We'll take that right foot up and back. Exhale to bring it through. You can drop that back knee down. And then we'll walk it up. So from here, you can bring that front foot in just a little bit more for a little bit of a box lunge if you need a little more stability. If not, then, then don't. But we'll go ahead and take, we'll grab at the elbow. So for our first one, the, let's see, the left arm will come underneath kind of grabbing underneath the right armpit. Right arm will grab that left shoulder there. So we'll go in for a little back bend. We'll inhale to take the elbows up slightly, then exhale, taking them in towards the belly button. Inhale to bring it up. Exhale, elbows to belly button. Two more. Inhaling here. Exhale. Last one, inhale, then exhale, we'll keep it here for three, two, one. Nice, you guys, coming out of that, go ahead and frame the foot, inhaling into that lunge, exhale to straighten, we won't be here for too much longer, inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale, exhale, straighten, and we'll just fold over here for three breaths, using your blocks if you need. And when you're ready, we'll come back into that lunge, the left arm comes underneath, we'll inhale, the right arm comes up. This time, We'll drop the arm behind us and we'll leave it here, reaching towards those back toes. Now, if you have it in your practice, or if you know your quad feels pretty, pretty open today, you can reach for those back toes if it's available to you. If not, then we're here in our twist. One more breath here. We'll exhale, framing the foot, tucking the back toes. Once you've found your grounding, root to rise. Inhale as we come up. Nice. Another breath here. And we'll go in just as we just were. So the left hand comes underneath the right armpit. Right arm on the left shoulder. Inhale, slight back bend. Exhale, elbows in. Inhale up. Exhale down, two more. Inhale. Exhale, one more. Inhale. Exhale. We'll frame the foot here. This time, we'll straighten out that front knee and we'll just walk it over to the left. I'm actually gonna shift so I'm not giving you guys a view. So we're here in our wide leg forward fold, and you can heel toe the feet in so that you're in a comfortable space. You don't have to have them out super wide. And then here, we're just gonna bend into one knee and then the other, just opening up a bit through the hips here. Just finding any movements that feel good. Maybe you wanna bend a little deeper 
If you have the space, we'll be here for just two more breaths. And then when you're ready, we'll shift back towards that right foot, framing the foot, stepping it back, going through your vinyasa or skipping it. We will meet in down dog. Nice, you guys. When you're ready, we'll take that left foot up and back. Exhale to thread it through. Dropping that back knee down. We'll take the arms up to the top of the thigh or lift it. This time, taking the right arm underneath the left armpit, left arm over the right shoulder. We'll inhale here for a slight back bend. Exhale, elbows to belly button. Inhale it up. Exhale in. Inhale up. Exhale, coming in. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And from here, we'll go ahead and frame the foot. Straightening out that front knee. Inhale here. Exhale to straighten. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale, straightening over in that front knee. Folding here for three, two, one. We'll go ahead and come back into that lunge, taking the right arm underneath. Inhale to open up into our twist. Coming out of the shoulder here, you just want to make sure you're not dumping your weight into that right shoulder, really pressing through the hand to lift out of that shoulder. One more breath here. And we'll frame the foot, tucking the back toes. I'm sorry, forgot the twist. So we'll take the arm back, looking back towards the back wall there, or whoever or whatever is behind you. If it is available for you, maybe reaching for those back toes. If not, then we're here in our twist. One more breath. And we'll go ahead and frame the foot, tucking the back toes. Once we've found our grounding, inhale to rise. Coming in to the back bend again. So right arm underneath the left armpit, left arm, left hand to the top of the right shoulder. We'll inhale coming up. Exhale in. A little balancey here. <laughs> inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. We'll go ahead and release there. We'll exhale to frame the foot. You can straighten that front knee. And then we'll walk it over towards the right. Coming into our wide leg forward fold again. We'll exhale to fold here. Another good place to find your block, whether you need it to raise the floor or to maybe even rest your forehead or the crown of your head. One more breath here. And then from here, we'll bend back into those knees. So coming in towards the left, then the right. Maybe seeing if we can go a little deeper this time. If not, that's okay. We're waking up those hips. About two more each way. Nice, and then we'll find our center. Exhale to fold again. Inhale, coming up about halfway, walking the hands over to that left foot. Framing the foot, stepping the left foot back, going through vinyasa or skipping. Nice, you guys. We got one more round. All right. We'll inhale, take the right foot up and back. Exhale to bring it through. We'll drop that back knee down. 
Inhale up to rise. Exhale to frame the foot. Inhale into our lunge. Exhale to straighten the front knee. Inhale. Exhale, one more here. Inhale. Exhale to straighten. Flexing the foot. We'll take it to external rotation, turning the pinky side edge of the foot towards the right edge of the mat. We'll take it through center. Exhale, taking the inside edge of the foot towards the left edge of the mat. Coming back, lunging back into that front knee. Left hand reaches down underneath the left shoulder. Inhale, opening up, twist to the right. Dropping that arm back, maybe reaching for the foot, maybe not. And then we'll close off here, tucking the back toes, lifting into our high crescent lunge. And then so from here, we'll drop the back toes down so that they are out about a 45 degree angle, setting up for our warrior one. If you'd like, you can even, it depends on the hips. Everyone's hips are gonna be different, so the alignment may not be exactly what's for you, so definitely fill it out. So to make sure that your hips are squared, you may have to walk that back foot out to the left edge of the mat, or maybe even the right foot out to the right edge of the mat. So just depending on the hips here, we just wanna make sure that our hips are square to the front. Once you've kind of found a good place for you to be, we'll go ahead and lift back. This time, and I did not bring a strap or t-shirt with me, but this is a good place to have your t-shirt or strap. From here, we're gonna open up through the chest. You can either take your hands to clasp behind you, or if you have your t-shirt or strap, you'll just hold both ends. Just imagine that I have like a towel wrapped here. You can even grab at the elbows here if you'd like. We're going in for Humble Warrior. So we'll inhale for a slight back bend. Then exhale as we take it forward, maybe with our shirt. Just pretend I have a shirt. Or if you'd like to clasp your hands here. We'll flow here just a couple of times. Inhale to bring it up. Exhale, Humble Warrior. One more inhale. Back bend. Exhale, humble warrior, holding here for three, two, one. Go ahead and frame the foot here, tucking the back toes. Going through or skipping vinyasa. Exhale, take it back. We'll take the left foot up and back. Exhale to thread it through. You can drop that back knee here. Inhale up to rise. Exhale to frame the foot. We'll go ahead and inhale here. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, straighten one more. Inhale to bend the knee. Exhale to straighten, holding it for three. Two, one. We'll go ahead and drop the pinky side edge of the foot towards the left edge of the mat for a little external rotation. Still thinking about bringing the heart through. One more breath. Then we'll take the inside edge of the foot, taking it towards the right side of the mat. One more breath. We'll bring it back through center, lunging back into that knee. We'll take the right arm underneath the right shoulder. Inhale to open up. Exhale, deepening your twist, whether you grab those back toes or just reaching back towards them. One more breath. We'll frame the foot, tucking the back toes. Once you found your grounding, root to rise. Inhale to come up to standing. 
We'll drop that back foot down, setting up for our warrior one. Once again, checking in here for what it is that you need, maybe shorten that stance or even walking the feet out, whatever it is that you need to make sure that both hip points are facing the front. Your headlights are ready to go. Once you've gotten that, we'll go ahead and lift the arms here. And once again, now, if you'd like, there are two different options. I know I didn't go over it on the second time, but when we have the elbows here, and you're still getting a back bend and you're still getting some shoulder opening, but when they're clasped behind, you get a little bit more heart opening. So your choice on what it is that you need. And didn't mention it on the other side, but it's all good. So, so whether you have your towel behind you or your hands clasped, Maybe even grabbing towards the elbows. We're preparing here. Inhale for a slight back bend. Exhale, taking it in. Humble warrior. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale. Exhale, humble warrior for three, two, one. Come back up to frame the foot, tucking the back toes, stepping the left to meet the right, going through or skipping vinyasa. And from our down dog, go ahead and drop the knees, coming into a child's pose. You can sway here if that feels good. And then when you're ready, we'll come up through all fours, swing the feet around to come to seated. From here, we'll place the hands behind us and just windshield wiper the knees and we'll drop the knees over towards the right, then the left, then the right, then the left. Just moving through it here, whatever it is that you need. Maybe holding it in one place if that feels good. Hips are popping. All right. So when you're ready, we'll come into a cobbler's pose. So taking the feet to meet. The further you have them out, the kind of, I guess, less invasive it is on the hips. So we'll come here to come about like a diamond shape. So we'll inhale to straighten, to lengthen the spine. And exhale as we take it forward. If it feels good, you can start to walk the feet in, maybe a little closer to the, to the pelvis there. You can even take your elbows to maybe drive the knees down. And when you're ready, we'll come back up. Straightening out the legs, you can pat them out if you need, maybe move anything out the way. We'll inhale here to lengthen and exhale as we fold it forward. Another good place for your strap or towel or t-shirt, whatever it is that you may have. Maybe you'd like to wrap it around. And maybe your knees don't come all the way out to straight. And it's okay to have like a slight bend, especially if you have like your t-shirt, just really press through the heels here. So I'm pretending to have a strap or a towel or t-shirt. One more breath. And then when you're ready, we'll inhale and take it all the way up. We'll bring the feet into the mat. Using the core to take us down, the arms will reach ahead in front of us. We'll slowly lower down. Nice, you guys. Coming into a bridge here. We'll bring the feet in closer to the hips. So much so that you can at least kind of tickle your heels there. Grounding into the mat. We'll inhale, lift through the hips. Really lifting 
opening up the front body here. And then we'll exhale to take it down. We got two more. Inhale, lifting through the hips. Maybe you'd like a little more shoulder opening by walking the shoulders underneath. Exhale to take it down. We got one more. Your choice here for another bridge or possibly a wheel if it's in your practice. We'll inhale to take it up. You can even be playful here, maybe by lifting one knee, straightening the leg, maybe going to the other. Last breath here, deepest expression. Then we'll exhale to slowly lower down. Windshield wipering the knees once again. And we'll hug the knees into the chest. Give yourselves a big hug, maybe rock from side to side. Back and forth, just massaging the spine here. Whatever you feel that you need. And we'll find stillness. Coming into a happy baby, you can grab the, your ankles and the outside edges of your feet. And you can be playful with your happy baby, maybe rocking side to side, maybe extending one leg and then the other. Just a couple of more breaths here. And feel free to find stillness. And that last breath, we'll all find stillness. Hugging the knees back into the chest. And one last big hug. And then from here, we'll take the knees out so that the shins are parallel to the mat. Taking the arms out into a T. Using the core to lower the knees over towards the right. You can let the knees fall all the way to the floor, or if you have your block and you'd like the block to catch your knees, it's a good place. If it's okay with your neck, take your gaze towards that left hand. And we'll inhale through center. And exhale using the core. Bring them over towards the left. Bring in your gaze to that right hand if it's okay with the neck. And we'll inhale through center. And exhale, walking out into Shavasana. You can let the feet come out as wide or wider than the mat. Same with the arms, taking up as much space as you need. As we let go of practice, we let go of anything that no longer serves us. Once again, checking in with the body Scanning the body, scanning the thoughts, scanning any emotions that may have come up through practice. We're observing here, but no changes. Then on the next breath, after our observation, maybe making any changes that we feel may be necessary, maybe releasing any tension that we may feel in the body. Maybe releasing thoughts that no longer serve us. Releasing any emotions that may have come up.
you're more than welcome to stay here in your Shavasana. Otherwise, if you would like, you can move through with me as we come up. So we'll take the feet out long, arms overhead to stretch as if we're waking up early in the morning. And when you're ready, making your way over to one side. No rush, you guys. Slowly making our way up to seated. You can keep the eyes closed here. Or maybe keep a soft gaze. Take three deep breaths together. As we inhale, take the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhaling through the nose. As we exhale through the mouth, letting it go. Last one, deepest breath. Inhale as we take the arms up and overhead. Then exhale through the mouth, letting it all go. I thank you all for allowing me to guide you through your practice. Hope you all find gratitude for yourselves for finding, your, finding time today to practice. The light and love in me honors the light and love in you. Namaste. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Enjoy it. It's a bit chilly out there, but hope you guys make the best of it. It's still a very beautiful day. <laughs>